like I can't play a ball. My aura bright like the moon and stars. Moving fast like a shooting star. I'm in my own lane, no moving star. Cause this ain't no act, I can't play a ball. Drop your vibrate higher. I got the heat, I'm on fire. The Empress of the Empire. Goddess of desire. We gotta talk about this. We we have something most definitely to talk about. Immediately. Ooh. I got a message really quick, Westy. Um Okay. So Scorpios. Oh, I gotta drink some. I gotta oh goodness, I gotta take me a sip. Ooh, okay. So, I was looking into you guys' energy for now until um, through November. And, uh, oh, wow. Okay, so, first off, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, and share with your family and friends, all right? Um... I am the Empress, okay, um, if you're new to the channel, and for my ones that's been rocking with me, what's up, y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, okay, these energies can be vice versa, so this could be you or your partner feeling this way, um, or this, you know, if it's a cross watcher watching, snooping, spying, it could be their energy, just keep in mind it can go vice versa, okay. This is going to be for sun, moon, and rising Scorpios. So if you have Scorpio falling anywhere in that area, you can apply this video as need be. All right. So now that I got that out of the way, let's let's hop into this thing, right? All right. So I have healing family issues, okay? Healing family issues. And I have the tower here, which is the, the tower is you guys' card, okay? So maybe there's something that you need to heal from, something that was traumatic that happened in the past, okay? This is past energy here. Let's talk about this, okay? Why is the tower here? If you guys hear some talking in the background, I have my windows up and, like, they're just loud. So just kind of tune them out. Okay, so tower the tower why is why is the tower here why is the tower here look we got the world so a cycle closed out of the blue i feel like you did not see this coming at all like it was just random as hell it was random as hell and you just did not see this coming okay maybe all of a sudden you decided that you were going to be single or you um, were focusing on your finances. Um, but I, I just feel like something was just out of the blue. Let's see. Why is the world card here? Why is the world card here? Why is the world card here? Oh, yeah. There's definitely a closing. Look, we got the Ten of Wands. So something closed. So a phase closed out. Some of you guys could have been seeing 999 everywhere all the time because a chapter was closing. Okay, look, we got you guys moving on. This was something that you were holding on to with, with for your dear life. But the universe shook this shit up right here with this tower and said, oh, no, 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 no. We got something better for you. Okay, we're going to close this chapter right here up because uh, this shit is, is you know, it's, it's time. The baggage and all that is, is, is time. But you were you are holding on for dear life. Okay? But it's time to move on. Okay? It's time to move on to something better. Okay? You feel deceived. I feel like some of you guys are holding a nasty grudge. Whatever this cycle is that completed. Uh, 
<clears throat> I feel like you guys are holding the grudge. You feel like this person or this situation was, it was just deceiving. Somebody wore a, fa a false ass mask. They weren't being honest. Someone tricked you. You got played. And I feel like you guys want justice. You want justice. You want whoever to who did this to you to pay that's what i'm getting you feel stabbed in the back you feel betrayed i'm gonna have to call this reading payback's a bitch because look i got you over here talking about what happened okay somebody's coming to you or you're discussing telling other people about what this person did to you with this eight of wands Okay, you're communicating, you're talking about it, you're talking about what happened. Maybe there was an actual fight, maybe there was competition, maybe there was some type of brawl, but this was something that happened in the recent past. Okay, whoo, let me take another sip. Okay, whoo, I gotta burn some sage. Give me another clarifier for deception. What else happened here? What what's what what happened here? Queen of Swords. Could have been dealing with the Libra Gemini Aquarius, but you could have been expressing this to a Libra Gemini Aquarius about what happened, how you got stabbed in the back, how you felt betrayed, okay? Or this could be someone that, I mean, you may feel, you're pissed. I feel like some of you guys want revenge. This is what I'm getting. Like, you want payback. You want something to pop off with this person for how they wronged you. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Two of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so there's talks about money. Maybe this is involving money. Okay, maybe this is involving money. Maybe this is involving a job. Maybe um, this is involving family. Sun card. A lot of you guys are dealing with uh, uh, um, Leo. But then we got success. Okay, look, we got the emperor. So maybe you guys were dealing. Okay, the death card, which is you guys' energy as well. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys could be, this could be involving a boss or someone at work. Okay, or an Aries. Okay. But I feel like this was something that was putting you in a high place. Um, you were getting a lot of attention and you were, um, you were doing very well in what it is that you were doing. I, I'm picking up for some of you guys. It's a, it's a job. Okay. It's a work um, place. And this is a love reading, but I'm just reading it as it is. For some of you guys, you were dealing with the Aries. Okay. And maybe you, um, some of you guys are deciding to cut somebody out here with that Queen of Swords. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Um, why is the sun card here? Okay, so you're waiting for better days. You're waiting for something to be revealed or you're waiting for some type of... Um, you're waiting for something positive. Maybe you're waiting to hear something positive. Maybe you've been getting bad news. You, you're waiting to hear something good. Okay, for future energy, guys, we have playfulness. All right, so I'm catching on uh, like a lot of flirting. You two, you're trying to recapture romance uh, and allowing your inner youthful spirit to shine. So maybe you're going out having fun because I have the Knight of Wands. And we know he's all about playing, okay? He's always in and out all the time playing okay <laughs> what is the night of wands here maybe you guys are being flighty okay maybe after all of this happens you decide to go out and have some fun maybe you needed a break maybe you needed some time off from this situation and i feel like you're finna take it you're finna take that opportunity why is the night of wands here justice again libra energy okay Maybe you're communicating with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Sagittarius here. I see that as well, too. But I feel, let's see why the Justice card is here. I'm picking up, you guys want justice, okay? But maybe you're trying to balance out, you're trying to have fun. Why is the Justice card here? 
Yeah, two of pentacles. You're trying to keep a balance. You're trying to balance this out. You know, I feel like some of you guys are trying to balance out work and love, okay? Maybe you're juggling two people. And you're just having fun, you know? Why is the two of pentacles here? Okay, yeah, nine of pentacles. So you're feeling single. You you might be juggling a few people. You might be going out, you know, having your little flings and doing you doing your little fun stuff, okay? Yep, we got you being a little reckless. Be careful now. You guys are doing a little too much playing. With that Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, y'all doing a little bit too much playing. All right, it's too much in and now. It's too much back and forth. You know what I mean? Oh, boy. Look at y'all. Y'all are off the chain. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun, but make sure... You guys are wrapping it up and, and, and being safe. All right. So, with that being said, let's see. What other messages are there for Scorpios? All right. So, Scorpio, from now up until November, okay. Let's see. What is what? Until no, from now until November 15th, what is going on with Scorpios? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Scorpio, 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 Scorpios. What message do you have for Scorpios? I'm already picking up on you want somebody to pay. So now you're going out and you're doing you. All right, so we got you here being a little worried, okay? Maybe you're worried, up worried about something. Yeah, because you have a heart, you have a, a broken heart, Okay. You feel like somebody tried to ruin you. Let's see. Star, the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. You're trying to heal from this situation. Somebody, maybe you feel like somebody lied on you. Okay, and that's that's world card again. The situation is closed. Okay, and then, but look, look now, Scorpios. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put y'all on now. Put y'all on to what's coming. You got the wheel of fortune. This is things going in your favor. This is your luck changing. Okay, so don't stress. Don't worry about what happened in the past. That shit needed to close. I feel like you're getting ready to celebrate. Okay, you're getting ready to celebrate. Right now, you could be just taking a break, taking time off, doing you, having a little bit of fun. But yeah, someone lied. You feel like somebody lied. And you're trying to heal from that, okay? You maybe you feel like somebody was messing with your money, okay, with that ace of pentacles there. This could be definitely be work related. We got a three of pentacles and a page of cups. So maybe there's, you know, this could be dealing with something. It could be trickling into look, oh my gosh. The same two cards came out. There's definitely a closing up cycle. Okay, this is divine. This is something that needed to happen. Like I said, a lot of you guys may be seeing nine nine nine. Um, because the cycle is definitely completing. Okay, we got that ten of wands and the world. This shit is over. This baggage and carrying it around this baggage and, and putting it in and and you know, all of that has come to a close. And it's the same cards that's popping out that just popped out in the last reading. Eight of Swords, okay, you cannot be afraid to walk into new territory because um, things are changing, okay, and don't be afraid to take a leap of faith because things are going to go in your favor once you put that first foot forward, okay, we got someone here with this King of Swords, maybe you guys are dealing with someone that's older or, you know, um, are hanging out a little bit more, or hanging with the Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, um, but someone that's kind of like stern and possibly teaching you the game or, you know, hanging out, you know. People around you feel like you was holding on to this situation um, and you need to let it go. Okay. Um, it's like, you know what you did. You know, you know what happened. You know you feel like this person or these people lied to you, lied on you, and you know, you just like, you know, I'm gonna put this shit to rest and I'm gonna start fresh. And that is the outcome with the four of swords and the ace of wands. So this is putting this situation, this old situation to rest because it needs to be put into rest, okay? Because there's a fresh new beginning here for you once you put this to rest, okay? Yeah. Yep. 
You got to get out of your head, though, okay? You got to get out of your head about this. And, yep, yep, you got to get out of your head. And another thing, I see you guys are um, jumping around from, from person to person, okay? Ace of Wands and then Knight of Wands, that's definitely um, sexual energy here, okay? Y'all hopping around. From person to person, or you're getting tired of hopping around from person to person. And y'all need to sit your last little asses down, your little hot asses down now. Why is the ace of pentacles here? Somebody's spying, okay. King of Pentacles. Ooh, different people. Y'all got a lot of people that was watching you. Because they was trying to see, okay, look. It's like somebody was trying to build up some evidence on you. Um, because they they knew that some things were going on in the dark and then some type of truth came out right and we got three people here we got the queen of wands we got the king of wands and the king of pentacles so i feel like you guys were being watched okay why is the star card here king of cups you guys is energy okay so i feel like you guys are still having hope for the situation um, and you guys are trying to heal. And I get, I do see as well that you guys are looking forward and looking ahead to the future and letting this shit right here go. Whatever this is, it, it, it got to go, okay? It got to go, but you have to get out of your head first and, and, you know, get out of your head thinking negatively and manifest your desires, okay? To some visualization, writing some things down, writing your goals down, because whatever this is, this shit has come, come to an end, okay? This shit is over with. This chapter has closed. It's time for some new, fresh energy, okay? So if this message seemed to resonate with you guys, let me know in the comment section below. And I am currently running a special for my new clients. Three questions for $25, okay? Information in the drop box below as well. All right, until next time, my loves. Oh, ciao for now.